Hey guys, Kyle R1945 uh, from Saddle Hunter Forum. I just wanted to give you a quick little dip on the tree here with the new hybrid. Uh, I'm just kind of excited about it. I'm not going to do a full climb. I'm not going to do a full hunt or anything like that. But I just wanted to give you a quick idea of some of the features and benefits of this thing. Whip up in the tree real quick and show you a couple of things I've come up with here myself. So as you can see, I'm strapped in leg loops, strapped in waist belt, strapped in chest shoulder straps. I've got my gear hanger clipped on a little handy deal there. Um, lineman's belt here, tether belt here, and I'll show you how I get on the tree. Alright, as you can see, I'm lineman belted in. All good there. Now, I know you can't see my head up here, but lineman belt good. My tether belt was hanging off that other loop. Now, you are going to want to tether pretty high, say uh, basically as high as you can reach because you're going to want a, a fair amount of this bridge in front of you and to be able to get around the tree. So, you have to forgive me on this tree too, it's got a lot of branches so I'm not going to be able to walk around the tree. This is just a quick demonstration. All right, so now I'm tethered in here. I'm lineman belted in. I'm just gonna ease out on my lineman's belt. Oh, let me back up, not quite there yet. Forgot the easiest part of this whole deal. Pick the back up, flip it down under me. Now I'm ready. So I'm quite a bit low. Again, it's taking some getting used to. But I can lineman's belt back in, adjust my tether up. Now, now I'm good to go. All right, see? And the whole time I was still in my lineman's belt. Unclip that. I'll manage this later, but I would daisy chain that up and clip it off to the side. I'm hung in my tether. Now, see here the fork, you would adjust and slide this out here, and that's what holds you up against the tree. That's the ticket to rotating nice and easy around the tree as well. Underneath, you'll see I've got my uh, thermosaw. I'll include some pictures of that. It's almost like it was made for it, a cool little spot there. So I'll uh, lock that up. And to go back again, obviously I'd undo my lineman's belt. I'm sitting down too for this, is the best part. My lineman's belt adjusted. Good to go. Loosen my tether, tuck it in. Tether would come off, I'd manage that again just for the quickness of this video. I'm lineman's belted in, take the back. 
folded up, it's good to go. I'm gonna get my climb down, good to go. So, a couple of things I'd note, my little gear hangers hanging there on the little eyes he's got. Um, and then I'll show you my fancy little setup for thermocell. And I just tied a little loop on there just to keep it on the fork. That keeps it in just in case I, I lean or tilt for a shot. It's not coming off of there. And then this is probably my favorite part here recently. Um, on this webbing, I attached my goals. Doyle's uh, bow hoist and it comes off my right side right by my butt so it's right there at the edge of the saddle basically I'm sitting here this is my right hand I'll just reach down it's right there to hook up my bow slide it down whenever I'm pulling it up it's right there but it stays out of the way I never forget it in my backpack it's stuck on the saddle all right guys I'll get some more videos a little more comprehensive here in the, the next several days just wanted to get that one out there quick thanks again for watching